hello good evening everyone it is about five hours before market opens for the week and i want us to take a look at the market forecast uh, for this week i want to let you understand that this is not an investment advice this is just the way i take a look at the market and the way i see the market i will advise you to place your trades with proper risk management and proper money management this once again i repeat this should not be taken as an investment advice this is just my market out for the week so uh, the first currency pair i'll be looking at is AUD USD as you can see right here on the screen and uh, I my strategy that I used to trade the market I do that based on price action on AUD USD you can see that there is a, um, a resistance level very close to the bearish engulfing that formed uh, last two weeks and this resistance level has held since September 2017 since September 2017 price has not risen above the 0 0.81 uh, resistance level as of last two weeks there was a bearish engulfing and last week the candle formed a, a doji it formed the doji with a large rejection the, the market tried to push upwards but what but price was um, pushed down again at the end of the week resulting in a doji um, price the opening price is very close to the closing price as you can see so for me on AUD USD for this week I'll, I'll be looking for sell opportunities to sell the market I will only look for buy opportunities if price is able to break above 0 0.81 but as long as price does not break above 0 0.81 uh, it's a sell opportunity our uh, my bias is going to tend towards uh, let us go to the next currency pair um, I will try to do this as fast as possible so that I don't I don't bore you. Okay, uh, the next currency pair I'm looking at is Euro Chef. Um, European Euro and the Swiss francs. This is a swing high that was broken from October 2019. This swing high has been broken. So what I'll be looking at this week is that uh, I will be taking a look at this on lower time frame okay okay now looking at it on the lower time frame we can see that the uh, price after breaking after breaking above it, it has retested it has retested and formed a bullish engulfing candle above the broken swing high at the at the almost to the close of last week so I'll be looking at the buy opportunity. I'll be looking at buying once the market opens. I'm placing my stop loss right below this bullish engulfing. Right? I could be right, I could be wrong. But if price breaks below this line and retests it again and turns around then that would be a sell confirmation. But for now, I think this market is still is still bullish. Yes, I think it is still bullish. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the uh, price breaking above this. Yeah. So, let us look at them. Uh, Euro Great British Pound. Euro Great British Pound. It broke um, below this support level. This support level, in fact, has been has been active since may 2020 and before the break price have not broken below this particular support level you can see now but 
it is headed i believe i believe that price is headed for 0 0.82 headed for 0 0.82 and this bearish engulfing at the close of last week further buttresses my opinion that price is headed downward i'll own i'll be looking for a buy opportunity around 0 0.82 but until then a really great british pound uh we are still looking we are still looking at selling the currency here and then usd usd chef okay usd chef yeah here we go you can see that price has broke this was a swing blue this was a swing blue from february 2018 that was broken down but right now price have broken above above the line once again so of my strategy i'll be looking at this on the lower time frame the four hour time frame for a for a buy opportunity i'll be looking at this for a buy opportunity uh yes on the lower time frame i'll be looking for opportunities to buy this to buy this particular commodity Mind you, I will only look for a sell opportunity when uh, when it breaks below 0 0.919. Again, this this is not investment advice. This is my market outlook. You need to employ proper risk management if you are taking these trades, and then you need to watch out for your entry properly. Like for example, I only trade away from what I call areas of value. I will be explaining what areas of value are in subsequent videos. Ah, gold. gold. Yeah, let's take a look at gold. Gold is at a is at a critical um, price level, and at one thousand seven hundred. Uh, gold. The price of gold has been dropping um, rapidly over the past few weeks and i for one i think that that is um it's just a price correction uh if you want to enter a sale right now i think this is the wrong time to enter a sale on gold you're already late for the sale but what i'll be doing this week i'll be i'll keep my fingers crossed i want to see how gold will react to the 1700 level Yes, the way gold reacts to 1, 000, the 1,700 price level is what is going to determine the direction I, I will be trading on whether buy or sell. GPP card. GPP card, this is, um, this is another good trade. You can see since march 2019 price has had difficulty staying above 1.778 now there is a huge bearish engulfing candle right under this resistance line once again and i think it will be a good opportunity to sell to sell gpp cards but use proper risk management yeah, use proper risk management in subsequent videos I'm, I'm going to teach you i'm going to show you how to manage and control your risk and minimize your risk in the forex market one thing that i i can tell you is that for for something like this on the weekly time frame if you are not careful with your risk management you are going to experience what i call a, a you might experience what we call the pullback, a huge pullback. That is price going against you for price going against you for some time before it moves in the direction that you predicted. Right? That is what we call the pullback. Now you need to be able to calculate your risk properly so that when the pullbacks happen, you don't panic and you don't jump out of a winning trade in a losing position okay. 
take a look at the next trick NZD NZD JPY NZD JPY yeah we need I'll, I'll be observing this on the lower time frame to looking for opportunities to sell this currency pair yes because it's it's close it's the price is around a a key um, a key sell zone yeah since november 2018 this is around this price level is around the highest that price have come two weeks ago we saw a huge rejection away from the uh, away from the swing high and last week we saw um price the upward momentum was reducing we can see a rejection to last week uh a bearish engulfing at the end of this trading week will confirm a sell move from this point but for now uh, let us keep our fingers crossed unless we see an opportunity to sell on the uh, on smaller time frames Aero NZD. Okay, if you have been paying attention, you can already guess that I'll be looking for buy opportunities here, right here. Yes, I'll be looking for buy opportunities here. It is close to a support level. In fact, a very, very strong support level from November 2018, and price has not broken below this uh, this support level. So it's a good place. It's a good place to buy. Euro AUD. This is this is interesting. Uh, this is a, 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 a this level. There is a swing low here. That okay. Normally I would have expected to buy from here, but now price has broken under it. Did the bullish engulfing right up to the right up to the price level and reversed back uh, at the close of last week it did not break above it so i think this might this might be uh this is this i'm calling a sell on this i'm calling a sell on this um i believe that the next target the next target is um, is this it's targeting 1.36 yeah, it's targeting 1.36. I hope I am correct, but with proper risk management, you will end up making profits with these strategies in the wrong in the long run. Okay, that's all the that's all on my market outlook for this week. Let me know what you think. I am open to listening to you also if you feel you have better analysis or you, you feel there is something that i might overlook that you can bring my notice and we we can talk about it thank you very much till next week i would be bringing uh till the end of next week or the beginning of the week i'll be coming back with another outlook for next week but for now this is my market outlook for this week thank you very much and I wish you a profitable trading week.